apa osteoarthritis so the difference between terahertz and normal infrared rate is that it is non luminous it doesn't give you a rate like and its ability to penetrate. Terrorize is very useful in seeing bone disorders because bone contains calcium and it will absorb. So that's why you see. In post-op recovery in studies, pain is significantly less if you use terahertz or even infrared for that matter and feeling accelerated. And because terahertz has the ability to normalize things, a lot of the pain in muscular, uh, in, in joint disorders is due to the fact that they are usually associated muscle spasm. So one of the reasons you want to take painkillers is not just to remove the pain, but to relieve the muscle spasm so you don't get the pain from the muscle spasm. And some painkillers have anti-inflammatory properties. So my wife, I told her, when you're arthritis, you want to take in, take this. I said, look, your medication has a slight anti-inflammatory property, has muscle relaxant properties, and you take it for this other reason besides the pain. When your when your joints are affected. It gives you pain and dysfunction because when your muscles start to contract, it not only produces pain, it makes your joints very stiff. And when every time you try to move, it gives you pain. So you might as well take the medication, less pain, and you can mobilize better, strengthen, exercise your muscle, and you will improve. Especially if there's an anti-inflammatory effect as well. That's what I do when I have arthritis. I take medication. It's bad, yes. Every medicine is bad. Even food is bad. Prawn can you allergy, right? Peanuts can kill you, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you have to see each one of us are different. And you just got to weigh the pros and the cons. So for all these reasons, that's why it's faster. You, you recover faster with terrorists. And that's certainly true. So, in bone disorders, in, in arthritis, what do you get? This is what a normal joint looks like. This is what an arthritic joint looks like. There are bone spurs, there's cartilage loss, the space is narrowed. Now, your cartilage is like a cushion that prevents your bone from rubbing against one another. Now, if that is gone, you not only get the pain from other things, but from the fact that your bone is rubbing against one another, grating and grrr, grrr, that kind of feeling. Huh? Some of you, if you're old enough, you put your hands on your knees and you start to move, you can feel a grating sound, right? That's very mild. Huh? So on the hip, you feel this happening, damage cartilage and all that. What's the associated problem with Joint issues is osteoporosis, which I describe in detail in the lecture on bones and joints. Okay, now let's move on.